ready? Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. OK, so here's where we're at. We've got Emma in Liverpool, who's been talking to this guy called Harry. Six months ago, they matched on a dating gap, and pretty soon they realised that there's, like, an unbelievable chemistry between the two of them. He's down in London, he's a businessman, he's an entrepreneur. Yeah. They're exchanging lovey dovey messages. He begins sending her gifts. Yeah. They've got a wedding date set. Yeah. This is very serious. However, there are bits that are very concerning. We've got a dodgy FaceTime call in Business Lounge, which was in a silhouette, and he stood her up. She actually went all the way to London, waited in an airport to find out that his flight had been cancelled. However, she's in a position where she wants to be with this man forever. Yeah. Let's check the emails. So, we have got an email from Emma. It says, hi, Julian Uber. Was boss to meet you yesterday. I'm guessing that's Liverpudly in chat. It is. Boss. I do like that. Um, here's the info I have about Harry. So she sent us a phone number, his Insta. We've also got two pictures that she sent as well. OK, so let's try this number. Let's do it. OK. Let's search this and see what comes up. Nothing. Nothing. OK. Probably a good thing. OK. I've got an idea. Let's save the number in the phone and see if he's got a profile picture. That's good. Ah, uh, of course it's a sports car. What is, well, let's have a look at the number plate on this sports car. It's a UK plate, it's personalised, but that's about it that I can see from that. And it does line up with the things that Emma thinks is true of Harry, right? Yeah, Yeah. definitely. OK, so let's put a pin in this for a second. Let's check his socials. So we've got Harry official account in his bio. He's got property, globetrotter. He's got 1,200 followers, 1,200 followers. That's that's quite a lot of followers. It is, but then he's only got 10 posts, Oob. I mean, he's got Emma heart emoji in his bio. OK. Well, let's see if there's anything else on there. I think we were onto something with the car. OK, so that is a high-res image, yeah. like, unlike the one that we found on the phone. Yeah. So if we print screen that and okay. run that, I think that that could pull up something. Right, let's try it. It's a stock image. This is the first lie, isn't it? That's not his car. This is definitely not his car. No. One of the crucial parts of his personality that Emma kind of put across to us was that he's a jet setter, that yep. he's got this lavish lifestyle. And the car, which he says he owns, he doesn't. No. This is huge. It shows that he definitely has something to hide. Yeah, 100%. Let's keep looking through these socials. Jumper that he's wearing, gym wear. Search it up. OK, let's give it a try. Oh, here we oh, go. Oh, there it is. Let's see if his picture is on their page. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. <gasps> is that him? Yep, yeah, that's him, that's him. That's man. Harry, isn't it? Someone's tagged. Click, click the tag. This That's is Harry. the guy. That's Harry. Harry isn't Harry. Harry, Harry is Kamal, Kamal. An entrepreneur and founder of a fitness company, an athlete. 50,000 followers. He's following a load of people. This looks the real deal, doesn't it? 